हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड 27 इट इज कॉल्ड फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन जॉइंट वेंचर प्रोबेबली यू हैव स्टडीड दिस जॉइंट वेंचर टॉपिक इन योर 12th स्टैंडर्ड और मे बी इन फाउंडेशन कोर्स और मे बी इन अदर अकाउंटिंग कोर्सेस दिस स्टैंडर्ड सम पोर्शन ऑफ इट इज सिमिलर टू व्हाट यू हैव स्टडीड इन uh 12th standard or foundation code but there are lot of differences because this standard will also require consolidation already we have studied as 21 we have studied as 23 which required consolidation and this standard also requires consolidation all of you have studied something about joint venture two or more entities they come together they work together, they earn together, okay, they share the profit and losses of the venture together, they are bound by some kind of agreement. Like a partnership is also a form of joint venture only. They are created for certain purpose, for certain objective. But for the purpose of accounting, the objective must be economic objective that means there must be an objective to earn profitability okay if two friends they just come and they say let us study together that is not joint venture two friends they say let us go to movie together we'll share the ticket cost and the popcorn cost that is not joint venture two friends say okay let us go to base camp of mount everest and enjoy the tracking that is not joint venture but if you start a tour company you take people and take them to mount everest give them all the services bring them back then that will become a joint venture okay so there must be an economic objective behind joint venture nowadays joint ventures are quite common because lot of businesses they need a partner they need somebody who has got either technical expertise, who have got financial power, who can have marketing, who have marketing skill. One company, one person alone cannot do everything. And therefore, in order to promote your business, in order to achieve growth in your business, you need to have agreement, joint venture arrangement with other people so that the other parties can also bring their skill, their expertise, their capital and together all of you benefit. So that is joint venture. Now why a standard on joint venture was issued? The answer is we invest a huge amount of money in joint venture and therefore the performance of the joint venture should be known to the users of the financial statement of the venturer. So I will draw, suppose you are a investor, you are a person who has invested in A limited, your hard earned money you have invested in A limited and A limited has invested in joint venture. So you have invested 25 lakh rupees in A, A limited has invested in joint venture in the books of A, they will have a line item investment in JV limited, let us say 25 crore because they have got huge fund and now where is the money? The money is lying with joint venture, that 25 crore is transferred to joint venture, joint venture is now using that funds, your money through A is actually transferred to joint venture, you need to know the performance of joint venture also. You need to know whether my money is being properly used by joint venture or not, whether they are making profit or not, okay. And accordingly, you can ask the management of A Limited what was the need for putting money in joint venture if you think that this joint venture is not generating enough profits. So the purpose of this standard like accounting standard 23 
is to help you to understand the performance of the other entity better because you will get more information about the working of joint venture through the standard. In the absence of the standard, you can only get one line item in the balance sheet investment in joint venture and in PNL account you will be able to see one line item that is dividend from joint venture. But now with AS27 you will get lot of information about joint venture. So let us read the objective of AS27. The objective like all other standards is to set out the principle. So what principle you will follow, what procedure you will follow for accounting of your interest in joint venture and then how to report joint venture asset, joint venture liability, income and expense. How to record your share in asset, liability, income and expense of joint venture that is covered by the standard. This standard is applicable in the financial statement of, please note down important, this standard is applicable in the financial statement of which party, venturer and second investor. Now what is the difference between venturer and investor? A, B, C, A and B have got some business idea, they want to start a venture, they want to participate in the policies relating to joint venture, they will take decisions about joint venture, but they do not have money, so they approach C, they tell C about the business idea, but C says sorry I do not have time to participate in financial policy decision making, operating policy decision making, I cannot come and I cannot work, okay. I cannot devote my time in the day to day operation of this venture, I can provide you capital. So A and B will be known as venturer because they are going to participate in the decision making process. In this standard there it is said that they have joint control. In this standard it is said they have joint control over the joint venture. C who is just providing capital but who is not having joint control is called investor. He does not have joint control. He does not have joint control. So in your partnership chapter, we used to call him sleeping partner. He is like that only. The standard does not use the term sleeping partner, but an investor is like that. He will contribute in the capital, he will enjoy the profit, he will get the dividend, but he will not participate in the day to day running of the business. That activity is taken care of by A and B and A and B will be called venturer, C would be called investor and suppose they form a company called X limited, this is called joint venture. The company that they will create is called joint venture, the standard is not applicable to joint venture, it is applicable to venturer and investor. Joint venture if it is a separate entity, it will follow all other accounting standards. So there is no specific standard to be followed by the joint venture entity which is created by A, B and C. Next point is scope of the standard. The standard is applicable in accounting for interest in joint venture that we have discussed. How to do accounting of your stake, of your interest in joint venture how to report joint venture asset liability and income in the financial statement of venturer and investor. This line is getting repeated, okay. Regardless of the structure or form which joint venture activity takes place. So irrespective of the structure or form, joint venture in this standard are of three types. 
which I am going to discuss below, you do not have to write now. Jointly controlled operation, jointly controlled asset and jointly controlled entity, jointly controlled operation, jointly controlled asset, jointly controlled entity. So, these three are called different forms of joint venture. AS 27 is applicable to all forms of joint venture, whether it is JCO, JCA or JCE, jointly controlled entity. This standard does not deal with accounting treatment in the books of joint venture concern. Accounting of joint venture entity will be done like any other concern, any other entity. So, no specific standard in the books of the new company joint venture, they will follow all other standard. Now, we will see the meaning of this term joint venture. What is a joint venture as per AS 27? The meaning is what you already know, it is a contractual arrangement. Sir, what is contractual arrangement? Where two or more parties, they enter into a contract two or more party enter into a contract, contract can be oral or in writing where they will define, they will decide what activity they have to undertake, how much capital will be required, how the revenue expense or profit will be shared. So, all this will form part of joint venture contractual arrangement. How many parties are required? Minimum two parties. As per the standard, we need two or more parties to have a joint venture. The purpose of the joint venture is to undertake an economic activity. The purpose of joint venture should be economic activity. That is profit motive. Two friends studying together, it is not joint venture. Two friends going to base camp of Mount Everest is not joint venture, two friends going to movie together is not a joint venture. But if two friends start an activity of taking people to base camp Mount Everest and charging a fees, then that is an economic activity. Okay. And the important aspect of joint venture is which is subject to joint control. So, venturers have joint control, which is joint decision making. Okay, one person cannot take decision, one person cannot take decision, unilateral decision is not possible, unilateral means one person cannot take decision. When there is a parent and subsidiary relationship, the parent can take decision on behalf of subsidiary that is called control. When you have investor and associate relationship, investor can only have significant influence, but does not have control, cannot take decision. Here the venturer will have to take decisions jointly. One venturer cannot unilaterally take the decision, one venturer cannot decide about the uh, decision he has to also take the approval of other co-venturers, okay. Like in your home, your parents together have joint control over you. They can't independently decide for you. They will decide together whether our son has to study accounts or engineering or doctor. So, now that was the example of joint venture which you see in your family every day. Some real life example of joint venture, not to be written, not to be remembered. Practically, nowadays more and more companies, they come together and they do business together by entering into a joint venture arrangement. Example, you have heard about Larson and Tubro, l and and Shanghai Urban Construction Group, they have entered into a joint venture for design and construction of tunnel for daily MRTS project. Similarly, Larsen and Tubro and Shapurji Palanjan company 
have entered into joint venture for design and build work for construction of TCS SEZ Kolkata source LNT annual report. Two more examples I have found LNT and Sozits Corporation joint venture design and construction of special bridge across Narmada river LNT and Gulfar consortium for construction of Salala airport project. So today in the homework you will find 10 more examples of joint venture and write in the notebook honestly you have to do it ok very easy you have so much of resources at your disposal you can find out if you look around you there are so many companies like if you have heard this Bharti Exa insurance company Bharti and Exa group have formed the joint, formed the joint venture for insurance business Tata play joint venture between Tata companies group company and Sky Corporation Japan ok. So lot of joint ventures will be there around you you have to take some trouble and find out next is who is a venturer who is a venturer venturer is a party to a joint venture who has joint control over that joint venture underline who has joint control that means his consent is also required he must also approve the decision he is a party to decision making decisions cannot be taken without his approval so such parties are called venturer who has joint control over joint venture and then there are investor who only put their money does not participate in uh, day to day operations or decision making process. So he is also a party to joint venture but he does not have joint control over that joint venture but he does not have joint control over that joint venture. So that is about investor. Now next definition is proportionate consolidation very interesting student will have to remember AS 21 do not read this chapter first first complete AS 21 AS 23 then come to AS 27 so that you can understand it fully and better if you directly come to AS 27 you may find it little difficult at certain places. So we have AS21 in AS21 we follow line by line consolidation what is line by line consolidation the assets of the subsidiary are, ad are added to the assets of the parent for example PPE of parent company is 100 PPE of subsidiary is 100 in consolidated balance sheet PP will be 200 that is called line by line consolidation same item in parent book is added along with subsidiary then you have studied AS 23 in AS 23 the method of consolidation is called equity method of accounting the method of accounting or consolidation is called equity method so what we do in AS 23 we take cost of investment and we simply increase or decrease plus minus share in profit or loss of associate and if we receive dividend we deduct dividend received from associate. So usually every year this pattern repeats 
and with the corresponding second effect of profit or loss in consolidated P&L account. This is AS 23 we have done. Now we are talking about AS 27. In AS 27 suppose this is A venturer, this is joint venture. A is holding let us say 50 percent share in joint venture. PPE of A is 100. PPE of joint venture is also 100, but in consolidated balance sheet, I will not write 200. I will write this 100 full in consolidated balance sheet of A. Own PP will come, of course, but here I am not going to take 100, I am going to take 50 percent of 100 because I am only proportionate owner of that. Uh, joint venture. So, my answer will become 150 that is called proportionate consolidation. So, here I am going to consolidate our share in the asset, our share in the liability, our share in the revenue or income and our share in the expense with our own asset liability income and expense. Okay? and that is proportionate consolidation. Very, very easy chapter. Now, one important note tick mark where the joint venture is also a subsidiary of the venturer, it is also it is consolidated as per S21. Suppose A and B have formed a joint venture. A is holding 70 percent share, B is holding 30 percent share, A will apply accounting standard 21, A will apply accounting standard 21, B will apply accounting standard 27, A and B are two venturers they have invested in both, they have invested 50 percent each. So, here A will apply AS 27, B will also apply AS 27, B will also apply AS 27. So, even though there may be a joint venture arrangement, but if you are holding more than 50 percent share in joint venture, the applicable standard is AS 21 for this venturer and for this venturer B AS 27 will apply. As per AS 27, there are three types of joint venture, jointly controlled operation, jointly controlled asset and jointly controlled entities. Accounting of these two are simple. Accounting is done in SFS and the same data, same figures are reported in CFS also. But in case of jointly controlled entity, proportionate consolidation method will apply. Proportionate consolidation method will apply followed in consolidated financial statement. In separate financial statement, AS 13 is followed. These are some basic thing. I am we are going to discuss in detail also. Do not worry. Let us first go to the next point. Common characteristics in all three forms of joint venture. What is common characteristics in all three forms of joint venture? There are two common characteristics and only then it is a joint venture. 
first is the venturers are bound by contractual arrangement there must be a contract there must be a contractual arrangement as you have studied in the contract law contract can be oral contract can be in writing but there is a contract and second second must feature that contractual arrangement establishes joint control so two or more venturers should have joint control joint decision making power one venturer cannot unilaterally take the decision that is called joint control and now we'll discuss what is contractual arrangement tick mark theory question contractual arrangement means agreement where they will define the terms and conditions so what is usually included in the contractual arrangement the activity what they are going to do i have given you example of larsen and tubro and other companies where they have defined what activity they will do they will define duration of the activity it can be short it can be long in your 12 standard or foundation accounts they say it is usually short but in this chapter it can be a one time event or it can be for a longer period joint venture like hero honda it lasted for 25 years you can't call it as a short duration so many joint venture agreements they last for 10 years 20 years 30 years also so don't worry about that and then what will be the reporting obligation of joint venture other aspects covered in agreement is who will appoint board of director or equivalent governing body of the joint venture what will be the voting right of the venturer how much capital they have to contribute and very important how the revenue expense output profit loss etc will be shared by the venturers and investors so all this must be defined clearly later on there should not be dispute okay so the first part of this uh, standard is jointly controlled operation two venturers they have different level of expertise they come together they don't form a new company but they will work together to execute an order which requires expertise of both the parties so that they will get more business they'll get more orders and they will share the revenue they will share the expense okay so that is how jco works no new entity is formed first thing remember no new legal entity is created each venturer remains an independent entity only they work together operate together venturers own asset and other resources like employee finance etc and uses it for operations which are jointly controlled okay one company <coughs> let us say company x has expertise in manufacturing containers another company y has expertise in making air conditioning equipment these are two different skill sets one entity may not have both the skill set and there is a ship shipping company who is a customer he says i want to purchase 100 containers we should also have air conditioning equipment we should have freezers equipment so that when the perishable items are transported 
the perishable item will survive till it reaches the destination but now the problem is company x alone cannot fulfill this order it does not know how to manufacture air conditioning equipment freezers company y alone cannot fulfill this order because it does not know how to manufacture container so they will form a jointly controlled operation they will go to shipping company they will say we will together provide you 100 containers fitted with air conditioning equipment and then they will also agree how the revenue cost and other thing will be shared so this time or this type of arrangement is called jointly controlled operation they may separately incur expenses and liabilities also for it so company x will incur cost relating to container will incur liability relating to manufacturing container company y will incur cost liability relating to manufacturing of air conditioning equipment so i have brought one practical example for you i have brought one practical example for you the student can understand the chapter better if they also understand the example so there are two example one taken from reference book one taken from uh, study material example on jco x limited is engaged in manufacturing of air conditioning equipment and freezer i have explained this example some of these are installed in containers used for export of perishable goods x limited undertakes a jointly controlled operations to organize 100 units of such unit for installation in containers containers are manufactured by y they have different speciality the ultimate buyer is a shipping company to whom performance guarantee is provided by x limited responsibility for quality specification timeliness of supplies are individually rest with for air conditioning equipment x limited is responsible for container y is responsible sale to shipping company takes place on an agreed terms under jv sale proceeds are shared by venturers directly if the institute gives you this case study and ask you identify whether it is jco jca or jce that can be a multiple choice question and you have to say this is a jointly controlled operation no new entity is created each venturer is operating from its own premise doing its own part of the work and sharing revenue and expenses one more example two manufacturers jointly undertake to supply a big machinery or aircraft so now they have two manufacturers have come together to supply a big piece of machinery or a big aircraft again there are different skill set required for a big machine or an aircraft so each will use their own asset and resources to manufacture different parts and then jointly assemble and market the same they will agree to share revenue and expense now the question is how to do accounting of jco very easy what you have learnt in 12th standard or I do not know whether they still teach you in CA foundation course about joint venture accounting, you have to just follow the same. You have to follow the same. Each venturer will record in separate statement, same data, same figures are transferred to consolidated statement if the venturer is preparing consolidated statement and what you have to do you have to record your own asset and your own liabilities that you directly control and which you directly incur so own asset and own liabilities if you have agreed then you will record your share of expense and your share of income so that will be mentioned in the joint venture agreement that revenue will be shared in this proportion so record your share of revenue you will agree expense will be shared in this proportion you record your own share of expense 
and plus if you have common assets common liabilities then your share in that asset or that liability or that expense and income will be recorded you will first record in separate financial statement and automatically automatically the same figure will be recorded in the consolidated financial statement you don't have to make any adjustment if you have recorded sale of 100 rupees in separate statement same will be recorded in consolidated statement also most importantly keep in mind no new entity is created under jointly controlled operation if a new entity is created it will become jointly controlled entity case 3 which will discuss tomorrow so the summary of the accounting treatment is each venturer will record own transaction relating to joint venture in his own book each venturer will record his transaction his share in revenue expense asset liability and his own asset and own liability in his own books okay so we'll take a break and we'll continue after the break thank you